The longest living terrestrial animal on our planet is the giant tortoise. They have an average lifespan of about 100 years old, and some can even live for more than 200 years. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the oldest tortoises we know of and what enables them to live such long lives. Currently, the oldest is a 190-year-old Seychelles giant tortoise named Jonathan. Other tortoises may be older, but there's no way to know for sure. It's difficult to keep track of age when these animals can live for more than twice as long as we do. So how do we know that Jonathan is roughly 190 years old if we don't know his exact hatch date? Fortunately, technology has been around for just long enough to help us estimate his age and birth year. Old photographs of Jonathan were originally thought to be from 1902, but they were actually taken in 1886. The photo was taken four years after he arrived on the island St. Helena. Based on his size and shell measurements, it is believed that he was mature when he was brought to the island in 1882, meaning that he was at least 50 years of age. So his approximate hatch year is 1832, the same year Andrew Jackson was elected as the seventh president of the United States. He has lived through the inauguration of 39 U.S. presidents, as well as many other historical events, all the while completely unaware of the changing world around him. He has spent the last 140 years on the same remote island. In India, there was a tortoise that was supposedly 255 years old at the time of its death in 2016. Another in Zimbabwe is said to be somewhere between 2 and 300 years old, although both of these reports are unconfirmed. If the reports are true, then these tortoises would be at the top of the list of anomalies. Even Jonathan at his ripe age is experiencing wear and tear on his body. For the past seven years, he's been blind from cataracts and has lost his sense of smell. He usually spends his days eating, sleeping, and yes, he's even still mating. Over the course of time, they have clearly adapted to live long lives with the help of several different characteristics. First and foremost is their giant defense mechanism known as their shell. Eggs and young ones are preyed upon because they are vulnerable, however the only predator to adult tortoises are humans. Researchers have concluded that defense mechanisms enable some species to live significantly longer lives. The lack of predators also puts more pressure on their bodies to live longer because they don't have to rush into reproduction as a means of survival. Instead, it seems as though they're able to reserve their biological resources to keep themselves alive. In fact, in some tortoises, the chance of death actually gets lower as they get older. Their genetic adaptations really help to prevent wear and tear on their bodies. They have an extremely slow metabolism and respond well to environmental stress. During metabolism, certain compounds are created called reactive oxygen species that in excess can lead to stress and wear and tear. Tortoises seem to be able to keep these compounds under control and have a tolerance for the stress that they cause as well. They also produce a lot of the enzyme telomerase, which helps prevent the protective caps of DNA strands from shortening during cell division. This enables them to fight off disease and still be healthy enough for reproduction later into their lives. Some of the oldest tortoises in the world are still able to produce viable offspring. Giant tortoises used to inhabit Eurasia, the Americas, and Africa, but are currently only found on two remote groups of tropical islands. Tortoises from the Seychelles account for most of the world's giant tortoise population. The Aldabra Atoll is currently home to more than 150,000 tortoises and has been declared a World Heritage Site. Tortoises from the Galapagos Islands are the largest, with males weighing more than 500 pounds. We believe about 2-3 to three million years ago they drifted 600 miles from the coast and established populations on the islands. Over the course of the past few centuries, their population has declined by 90% and four of them have become extinct. This was mostly caused by buccaneers and whalers that preyed upon the tortoises from the 16th to the 19th century. Their remarkable ability to hibernate without food or water also proved to be useful to these sailors on long voyages. Even Charles Darwin brought back 30 tortoises on his ship as food. He later discovered tortoises on each island were different species and the crew had eaten all of them. The precious research was lost as Darwin was unable to examine animals that had already been eaten. They say the giant tortoise took nearly 300 years to be studied and scientifically named because none of them made it back to Europe for such a long time. 
Apparently, they were just too delicious. Every remaining giant tortoise species is currently listed as vulnerable, endangered, or critically endangered. Although, in the last half century, the Galapagos Conservancy and the Galapagos National Park Directorate have been working hard to restore their population. Research and practice of captive breeding and rearing techniques have been used since 1965 and have helped restore 9 of 11 threatened populations. As of 2017, more than 7,000 juvenile tortoises have been returned to their islands of origin. Invasive species have also been eradicated on certain islands, allowing for regrowth of vegetation and reintroduction of tortoises. Hopefully, conservation efforts continue to make a difference so we can admire these creatures long into the future. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching.